We've already seen Archbishop Julian Porteous taken before a tribunal. That and, and um, that was urged and he on. Was taken uh, he by... was taken before a tribunal for saying messing with marriage is messing with kids. Now that he, uh, he that was, was the so, statement he... that was challenged. He wasn't challenged because he because of he, he some has, on his right to express his religion. He was challenged on that statement that messing with marriage is That's messing right. with kids. That's right. He was saying that's right, Christine. And that's he not was a saying that that is not a justifiable statement. I'm okay, sorry. so so now we're starting to see limitations to free speech. You're not even allowed to argue for the right of a child to be Hang loved on. by their mother and father. No, no, no. But that's what Julian Lyle, Porteous was saying. Um, I'm, not and, uh, and he's, I'm not arguing that at all. The reality is, Lyle, that nobody is impinging your right to state your opinion on this. Nobody is stopping you from expressing your view. Nobody is stopping any church in Australia from expressing their view. Well, that you, you just said you want to stop the you want to a man yeah. and a woman. Well, Christine, for with life. respect. With respect, Christine, you just said that um, you want to stop the ability of people to talk about sort. mothering and fathering. Well, well, why, you said that I, Julian Porteous. A reason yeah. why the reason why that that priest was taken to, to the tribunal was because he made a statement that somebody found offensive. Now, you know, the reality That's is my point. we can. Where reality is, we can all express our view on this. All express our view. So and this that is the issue. If, if isolated someone... incident, yeah. isolated incident. Now, th this is not a common occurrence. Australia is enjoying it, the most rigorous period of freedom of speech I think we've had since the 1999 Republic referendum. Uh, everybody is exp expressing a view. Everybody should be doing that respectfully, as I respect your right to, to express your view, Lyle. And, and it is a very healthy thing that's happening here and people are expressing their opinion, expressing their beliefs, expressing their deeply held faith-based uh, beliefs and that is a really good thing. Uh, but what we want to get to is a, is a point where people can, can, can make the choice, they can post their yes, they can express their view and then the country can, can have a decision on this very important issue mm. and we can move on. All right, let me just uh, Laura, butt in there. I think this is very you, telling. If I, yeah, okay, quickly. This, Laura, yep. if I could just uh, respond to that because um, I think what we're seeing there is, if, uh, by Christine's own words, if people take offence at the idea that people like me want to express the view that mothering and fathering is important, uh, that, that is where That's freedom not of speech what she's saying, be though. I'm a, mother of four I'm, a I'm a mother of four children. Are, are you somehow challenging my ability to parent my four children because of my sexual orientation and, be, and the no, fact not that at I want to marry my partner, who also uh, no, has what, two what children. What you're suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. I think you're suggesting that. I'm not. <laughs> Well, Christine, you've just said uh, on national television that uh, if someone takes offence, uh, they can uh, take people like me to court and like Archbishop Julian Porteous. We will always want to say the that mothering and fathering is important and that every child, wherever possible, you, has that right. This is where free speech is going to be. Are you saying that to me, um, me Lyle, as the mother of four children? I'm saying that as a matter of public policy, uh, Christine, it's not about you or me or anyone else. It's no, about it's the not. freedom Indeed, to not. speak. It's about under, the freedom uh, it's of a... every Australian to get married under Australian law. That's what this is about. That is the freedom and, and we then are talking what the about. Free speech, and what free speech and rights will exist after yourself, that. As you have already yourself admitted, you will continue to advocate after the vote. So you have yourself, Lyle, have admitted that you will have the capacity to speak freely about this issue into the future. Well, I don't, even I don't know, this. Christine, well, you've um, said it because yourself. you've, you've, you've said, said that uh, if people like me cause offence, uh, we'll be taken no, off to trans tribunals, no, and that's that's the whole point. You cited the example uh, you in Tasmania, that... and, I, and, and I pointed out that the reason why that activist took the priest to the tribunal was because he had said, messing with marriage is messing with children. Now, that was the, the point that the activist was, was, taking, was taking the case on. Now, you know, that's not my view. It's certainly not my view that messing with marriage is messing with children because I have four children. I want to marry my partner who has two children and our family will be strengthened by the fact that Virginia and I can get married and our children will only benefit from that. There will be no detriment to them.